So there's a dog that Zoe hasn't even seen yet. And she's not, she isn't noticing that. You're gonna go this way? Perfect. So they're coming this way. Come. So watch what's happening. You're gonna have to come this way, camera person, because the car's blocking you. Come. See what I'm doing with Zoe? Keep calling her back to come to you and show the dog. Come. We got, come. We got surprised by that dog, but see, even if the worst thing happens, you get surprised, show the dog again. Come. The worst thing happens, you just call her back to come to you. Come. It's a very stressful place here because we also have a bunch of dogs in the yard right there. Come. I'm calling Zoe away from that now too. Good. So see how we got out of that difficult situation? We were kind of penned in there. We had barking dogs behind us in the yard and we had this dog here walking past and Zoe's so prone to overstimulation. Come sit not reacting to any of her crazy jumping like she used to do in these situations calling her to come having her sit so we went from kind of out of control in two minutes to a sit stay next to me and that's that would be the way for you to handle these situations when you finally do go out in public because i want you to practice in your backyard and in your house a lot first before you take her out in public because to do what i just did is going to be difficult when you haven't practiced for a while. So practice for a while in easier situations and then you'll be able to handle extreme real life situations like this with her later. Okay.